My friends, it's Coach V right in front of uh, Lake Neshonic in West Salem, Wisconsin. Random question before we get into this amazing full body hip stretch. What is your favorite lake? Let us know below, very important. Okay, all body weight, no weights or equipment of any kind. Invite your friends to join us. I recommend doing this stretch every day for at least two weeks. Let us know how you do in the comments below. You are going to feel amazing. Let's begin in with single leg stretch. In with, I love filming in front of lakes. One of my favorites. Let's draw that right knee in, left leg extends out, head up or down. Inhale, exhale. A little breezy today, we got some boats going by but we gotta film outside, it's just too pretty not to. So imprint your lower back, extend this leg away, pull this knee in. Engaging the core and breathing in and out, in and out, in the nose, in the mouth, you choose, you choose. Make sure it's a good solid breath because we want to expand your flexibility, your mobility, your strength, and your reason for living, your purpose, by giving your body what it needs. Stretch, one more time, each side, pull, pull. All right, left leg down, place the right ankle on top of the left leg. We have a lying, it's not telling the truth, a lying pigeon. If you want more, bring this foot flat, press into the leg, and rock side to side. Flex this foot for a little calf stretch. And breathe, we have to breathe. Some nice movement in the low back. Now figure four stretch. Right arm in between, left arm on the outside. Lace and pull, rock side to side. Use your right elbow to open up that figure four stretch. Oh, that's so good. Massaging the lower back, breathing, and more breathing. Very nice. So good for athletes of all types. Okay. Oh, one more breath. I'm adding little circles here. Feel free to add movements. Love it. All right, other side, left ankle, right quad, press away or extend the leg down. And rock side to side. Some of you might recognize Lake Nishanik. It's the lake I learned how to skate and play hockey on. Used to fish it. I'm gonna take my son fishing here tomorrow. He's never gone fishing, so excited to teach him all about that. We gotta find some worms. Might just dig right here and get some worms. All right, figure four, left arm in between, lace the fingers, head up or down, pull, left elbow coaxing the left leg open. Good, explore the space. This is your space, this is your body. Explore it, investigate it. There's always opportunities to unlock some more potential in there. Unlock the hidden levels in Legend of Zelda. Set the bomb by the wall, boom. Boo -doo -doo -doo. There you go, find it. I think I've been chasing that feeling ever since I played Zelda. Chasing that feeling, the surprises. Breathe, pull the legs towards you, two more breaths. That is just marvelous. Knees into the chest, circle, pick a direction. Nice, healthy circle, massaging, adding lubrication to the hips, the knees, the ankles, wiggle the ankles. Other direction. More breath. Keep pulling that lever, more breath. Emergency breath, more breath. Bring it in. 
Okay, rolling on to your side. Oh, there you are. <laughs> My pants are coming down. Whoa, this video is going viral now where everyone's going, turn it off. We're going into a pigeon with thread the needle. Bring the right leg forward, left leg back. You can bend this left knee also. Slide it back, slide it back. Working that right foot forward. Practice your pigeons. I teach it all the time. The pigeon is one of your best friends, especially for hip, glute, and low back mobility. And much less of that, oh, that tight feeling, that awful feeling. So you could keep the hands here. You could slide forward or thread the needle. Right arm goes forward. Left arm is gonna reach underneath and then let gravity and body weight gently, oh, tug you down. Let's hold it here for about eight breaths. Deep breathing. Reach the arm further through if there's more space. Every pose is all about space, finding space to move into. Room to move, room to grow. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can also bring this arm back here. You're watching this, you can always pause it and rewind it or do it next time. This shoulder's moving back. Two more breaths. Oh, what do you think of this one? You like this one? Thread the needle, beautiful rotation added to a beautiful stretch. Always welcome to hold that as long as you like, my friend. Let's press it up. We want to get that back bend. Shoulders back and down, sliding the left leg back. Oh, that's the stretch. Loose, loose, nice, vigorous body, ready for anything. Okay, moving to the other side. Quick shake out. Shake out. Ha, ha, ha. Left leg forward. Oh, these pants. Either I'm getting taller or they're getting smaller. This foot forward, find that pigeon. This side is always a little bit tighter as far as this angle right here. Now here, forearms down, slide forward, or if you want to thread, left arm, right arm underneath, eight breaths. Or here. Whoa. All right, let me pull my pants up just a little bit. Okay, just how it is, isn't it? You do what you got to do. I'm going to do little adjustments here and there. We all bring something different to this mat, don't we? Different circumstances, different experiences. Two more breaths. Okay, walk it up, proud pigeon. Shoulders back, lifting nice strength in the shoulders and the arms. Getting the curve up the spine. Okay. While we're here, we'll do it on the other side too. Here is a, a amazing add-on to this pigeon. So hold your pigeon or take this leg, extend it out. Extend both the legs. This leg's gonna go back here and I'm gonna walk the hands. Oh, well, I'm gonna roll down the hill if I do this. So I'm gonna take this hand and slide it this direction. You could also work a little side bend back and forth. Again, explore the space. This is your lab right here, this is your body. I'm just chatting with a lady who was here with her dogs and you know, it's simplicity itself. We come out here, 
we find a spot and we make something very, very exciting happen, very beneficial that we can do over and over that has such a profound positive impact on our existence. Ooh, like that. That robin looks like trouble over there. Keep an eye on it. All right, stretch, stretch, stretch. One more time with the side bend. If I roll down the hill, just throw a rope after me. I'll grab it. Okay, let's do the pigeon on the other side so we can balance it out. Remember, hold the pigeon or extend that front leg. Oh, right here. Stretch. Side bend. I, I know I heard that. Everyone, I just heard someone say, this is incredible. I heard that. I hear everything. I think that was somebody in, was that North Carolina that said that? It was. Ooh. Working through some old wounds, physical, mental, spiritual, work through them, breathe into them. Let the ants nibble on my feet as I work through them. Okay, that's good. Loose, loose in the quad, the IT band. Keep it loose. One more time, side bend. Up and back, up and back. It's a glorious day, a glorious time to stretch and feel younger and more vital. Okay, around. A little handshake, got grass. We have a wide-legged down dog. Take the hands, shoulder width, bring the feet out either to the edge of the mat or wider. And here is that wide-legged down dog. We're gonna sway it back and forth. Some. Nice spinal and back mobility. You want your muscles to respond like warm taffy. Mushy but strong, full of blood, full of nutrients, and full of very effective movement. If you'd like more, you could add a twist. Reach the left hand to the right leg, make it active, press into that front palm to activate and turn on that twist. Back to center, other side. How can he not smile doing this? I love doing strength training with free weights, with machines and stuff, but nothing makes me happier than body weight fitness like this. Nothing as far as fitness. So rewarding, so immediately pleasing, and so immediately challenging. This is our canvas right here, and we can't stop creating. One more time each side. Let the wind blow through the set here. I can't stop it. I can only enjoy it. Back to the center, press back. Take an extra breath. Shake out the spine. Okay. Ooh, sitting on the heels. We got our shoulder rolls. Oh yes, we do. Let's do one more, one more pose here. A little warrior. So we'll get on our feet, or feet, both feet, feet squared, shoulders back and down. One more time. <sighs> Yop. Warrior position. Power yoga. You do power yoga with me, you better. Type it in online. Type Sean Veek power yoga and you will get so much training, you will be occupied the rest of your life. Line up the heels, turn in that back foot. Bend this front knee. Now we can take the forearm here, 
This arm comes up here, a very powerful side angle. If you want to do the wrap, take this arm to your back, roll the shoulder back. Stay here or snake the arm underneath, grab the hands and open the chest. Seven breaths, add a little movement here as well. It's process, practice, practice, and more practice. Remember, do this every day for two weeks. Do it morning or in the afternoon or evening. Listen to your body. Ooh, that is, whenever I think of the most challenging pose or stretch that I need to be doing, I always think of this, the warrior wrap. I don't always do it, but I think about it, and that's the first step. But it gives me so much of what I need, correcting my posture. Hello, bug. Correcting posture, opening up my breath, challenging me, stretching my hamstrings, my balance, my mental fortitude, because it is tough. One more breath. And hands down. Ooh, extend the legs, lift up. Reverse that stretch. Oh, bugs over there. They always go towards my feet. All right, hold on, get on the other side. Here's how we do this. There we go. Just blew him out of here, what happened? I turned the foot in. All right, open. So we have side angle, my friends. Very strong, keep the hips, this hip open. We're not caving in, or arm on the low back. Or we're going for it, we're going into the wrap. Arm underneath, lace the fingers or grab the hands and open. Eight breaths, is that what I said? This side's a little tighter. Add movement if you wish. Oh, relax, relax, release into it. Calm determination. Hmm, there it is. Body starts to relent, it starts to release, it understands what I want. My brain is constantly telling it what I want, what to move into, and how about that? Voila, the body starts to do it. I almost fell down the hill. One more breath. <laughs> oh my, that is good. Now let's reverse it. Now shake out that leg for a second. That is some good stuff. Ooh. Where am I? Who am I? Why am I here? Reaching up and back. Oh. Excellent work, my friends. Think of some people that you know that definitely need this routine. Invite them to do it with us. I appreciate that. Let's finish in child's pose. Oh, cap switch. All right. Knees as wide as you like. I'm gonna keep on the edge. We're gonna press back and we're gonna sway it side to side. Great way to release the spine, to focus in on our breath. So when we leave this routine, we are focused, energized, released, and dare I say, inspired. Inspired for the day. Get out there, do something great. If this routine helped, please hit the like button. I appreciate that. It keeps these videos coming, hit subscribe, and also click the notification bell up there to never miss one of my workouts. The question of the day, let us know below is, what is your favorite lake? I'm gonna go with Lake Nishanik. Why not? It's right here, it can hear me. And keep practicing this routine every day. Leave your comments below. It's me, Coach Vig. Always a pleasure, my friends. Sean Vig, out. Uh, all right, give me some catchphrases. I need a catchphrase.